So let's publish our website. We are going to do this from a Windows computer. You have to be uh, at the GVSU lab computer or on GVSU wireless for this to be successful. First of all, I have my website in a single directory. This directory can be in documents or on the desktop, but all the files, the HTML pages and the pictures have to be in the same directory, no subdirectories. Uh, it, it will become uh, possibly uh, broken once you publish if you have multiple directories and you included absolute paths in the HTML files. So my next step is going to be to go to my computer, go ahead and navigate to my computer or open Windows Explorer, and in Windows Explorer you will type in FTP colon slash slash www.gvsu.edu. So you have to go to the Windows Explorer, type in FTP colon slash slash www.gvsu.edu. We are in a new Explorer window and we're typing, it, typing in this URL. When I press enter, it's going to ask for my username and password. This is going to be your GVSU student ID and your password, the same one that you use for Blackboard. So I will type in my credentials. And once you are logged in, you will see possibly an empty window if you have never published, or you will see pages which you published before. So now, in order to publish, I can keep this window open, and every time I wish to publish from my local computer to the server, I simply have to highlight all the files that I have on my C drive or that you have on your USB key, and simply drag those files onto uh, the server folder and say yes to all. This will work fine from a GVSU lab computer. It'll work fine from your own laptop if you're connected to the GVSU uh, wireless. If you're doing that from home, it'll not work exactly like that. You have to see another video that's going to talk about something called VPN. Okay, so again, we type in, uh, we go to uh, my computer, then type in FTP slash slash www2.gvsu.edu, press enter, and it's going to ask for our credentials, put those credentials in, and you will see the files that you previously published, and you can simply drag and drop all the files that you've edited locally, and you can continue to edit the files in your local uh, folder, change them, modify them, add pictures, and then uh, copy them, or copy, paste, or drag, and every time you do that, they will be published new, so that I can now navigate in my browser to www.gvsu.edu, slash my username and I can verify that my page was published successfully. So your, your URL will be different. The, the beginning is the same, but then you have to add your own username and you can verify that what you published uh, was done successfully.